Hello and welcome to Night Parade, the show where we watch anime and talk about it for your entertainment. I'm Fat Man. I'm Fenrils. And tonight, we're reviewing Mysterious Girlfriend X. I'm not sorry. I am regretful. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I won't trust you as much in the future. Is that, do you feel like you need a shower? I, I feel like I need a fucking hot springs vacation and, like, soak for a week. To deal with what you saw? I am not okay. Okay. This show was something. In a good way. Well, that depends entirely on your perspective. <laughs> we should just explain, right? Yeah. Mysterious Girlfriend X is a surprisingly awkward and wholesome show. High school romance anime with, um, magic spit powers. I'm sorry, what? Magic a spit powers? What yes. do you mean? You watch this anime? You, who wants to explain the magic spit? I, s I know I don't, but I'm going to. To the best of my ability. First and foremost, spoilers. Like, don't watch this if you care about spoilers for Mysterious Girlfriend X, this seven-year-old anime. <laughs> Seven-year-old anime that looks like it was made a decade ago. This looks straight out of the early 2000s. I'm not- I'm not kidding. But in a good way. Oh yeah, it- the look to this anime is very nostalgic. It's comfy. This is like my favorite. Aesthetic? That's the word, yes, thank you. I guess... There's a guy and a girl. He's really into her, she's super weird. I guess he's also very super weird, because he's into her spit. Yeah, he's very into the spit. So, so there's this, uh, transfer student. Comes to their school, and sets herself up as this weirdo the first day of school, because she breaks out laughing in the middle of the class. Like, on the floor, Raffle Mao. Yeah, like- Fucking oh, shoot me oh. for saying Raffle Mao. Like, full-blown giggle fits. Something just hits her right in her giggle dick. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just pegged as the weirdo on her first day of school. But it doesn't really seem to bother her too much. It really doesn't seem to bother her at all, really. No. And it's wonderful. Oh, what's so, her name again? What's whose name? Urabe? Yeah. Best girl? Yeah, best girl. Her name's Urabe, dude. I'm sorry. When I, when we binge these, it is kind of hard to remember character names. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, my dude. So, Urabe is this... Mysterious, kind of edgy... She's got her hair down over her eyes... Never smiles, averages about two words a week. <laughs> I'm and, not wrong. And really likes napping in the middle of class. A woman after my own heart. Napping in class as well. I did that a lot too. Until my yeah. science teacher started dropping books on my desk and making me freak out. No one really did that for me though, but then again, I was napping for a side of decidedly other reasons. But like, one day Urube falls asleep in class and doesn't wake up after uh, the bell rings. So our main dude, Akira, walks in. He's like, hey, Urube, school's out. You kind of have to go home now. She's just out cold. So he shakes her a bit. She wakes up and looks up at him. Fucking drool spilling out of her mouth into a puddle on the desk. First of all, first of all. The fluid animation is phenomenal. I think I'd be more okay with this if the liquids didn't look so phenomenal. Like, it, it's some of the best liquid animation I have seen in anime. Next to free, and they're in the water. And they're using it on fucking spit. And sometimes honey. Oh, yeah. There's and, uh, 
nectar from flowers if you want to get suggestive at times. There is a lot of suggestive content in this anime. This anime is really heckin' dirty. <laughs> well, it's about puberty and weird spit stuff. Yes, but it's also very wholesome. Yes. It's one of the most wholesome, most weirdest romance anime I have seen. It's very unique. Then again, what's funny is when you compare our reactions from when we first started watching this, because, okay, so we take notes while we watch, for those who don't know. And at the top of the document is in big, huge letters for each of us, respectively. I wrote, fuck no, in response to the first episode. And I wrote, well, I'm kind of into this. So. Because it's a sweet romance. That's where we stand on this anime. Yeah. But it's also really, really sweet, right? Like, how cute are they together? They're up there in my favorite anime couples. Despite all the weird bullshit that I make you witness, which we may want to list, because some of it felt like a damn fever dream, right? What are we talking about? How, how some of this anime felt like a friggin' fever dream. Oh, yeah. Real life was weirder than the dream sequences in the anime. Also, the dream sequences in it were amazing. I, I mentioned this several times when we were watching, but the dream sequences reminded me a lot of the, like, the witch dimensions in uh, Madoka Magica. Yeah. I've never seen Madoka Magica, but I'll take your word for it. Well, that's on the list now. Forgive me for not seeing Madoka. How could you? Yet I've seen this. You, you know I'm into weird niche anime? You have seen... I, I think... Slime's like one of the only mainstream animes we've watched. Yeah. I mean, some of these were mainstream back in the day, maybe? Mm, some of them. I'm not even sure which ones. We, yeah, I feel like Slime's the, been the only mainstream show we've really watched. And maybe the time we talked about JoJo's. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, and JoJo's, JoJo's pretty is a mainstream. Work of art, and don't let anyone argue otherwise. But let's talk more about this anime, dude. So, my notes were just full of me complaining about the spit. So much so that I didn't take any actual notes. Hey, you took a couple notes, which I thought were actually kind of nice. Hmm. Like, you actually mentioned something nice about the spit at one point. Did I? What? Yeah, you said, and I quote, while well, the mechanics of, share, of sharing spit to share feelings is interesting, I cannot bring myself not to be bothered by it, or something along those lines. Okay. <laughs> you got used to it, sort of. I can't believe it. So, I guess let's discuss their dynamic a little bit more before we ah, get to that. Their dynamic. Oof. Something I love. So, our main character, Akira Tsubaki, is... Pretty generic, I feel. Pretty shy, pretty generic teen. Except that he has this weird kink for specifically Urube's spit. He, he just... Yeah. She was drooling after class one day. He woke her up, she left, and then... For some reason, he decides to stick his finger in her pool of spit. And, like, taste it. For some... Oh. On the holy reason. I almost quit watching this right there. I actually asked to, asked him if he wanted to do a different show. But no, 
I said we were watching this in the previous episode, and I will not let you down. Yeah, just, no, dude, if you ever have to push, this is probably the only thing I'm gonna make you watch that makes you uncomfortable. Oh, probably. no. We're, we're gonna watch some weird stuff. I, oh, fuck, you're right. I watch weird shit all the time. Uh, right? That's, like, the only thing we watch. Oh, come on. This is the weirdest thing we watch. <laughs> it's up there. I, I rate this, in terms of weirdness, up there with Bobo Bo. Oh, this doesn't even touch Bobo Bo. I mean, yeah, Bobo Bo's really weird. But magic drool kink. So, that all happens. And Tsubaki is... He collapses he out in gym class one day. And takes a couple days off of school because he's super sick for some reason. And Urabe stops by his house and is like, Hey, you tasted my spit, didn't you? Guess what? You're lovesick. Yes, lovesick. That's what we'll call it. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> when he tasted her spit, it was sweet. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, this show is weird. This is gonna be- this- this is- this is our worst episode. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one's gonna watch this, because we're we talking about spit. We talk about the spit. <laughs> much. I was gonna talk about their romance besides the spit. But my main complaint is about the spit, so that's the only thing I'm gonna talk about. You're not gonna talk about how terrible <laughs> Hayakawa was? Oh no, you're right. You're or Oka? We'll was? get there. Oh yeah. Oka the shit stirrer? Yeah, that. There's all kinds of shit that happened. My memories are flooding back to me. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I've seen this. And, as you know, I don't retain information when I binge stuff. Which is... it happens. So that's Usually... why cramming the night before a test doesn't work. Yeah. The only reason I, we really binge this was there was no way otherwise. Because I would not watch this alone. Yeah, no. Mm, nothing helped him get through this except another person. Right? Yeah, not even rum. Rum always helps. Not here. There's not enough rum in the universe for this anime. <laughs> but besides the drool, their relationship is actually really sweet. Like, Tsubaki doesn't really like regular romantic things, so, like, she just wants everything to be unique to her. Here's one so thing that I love about this anime. What is it, my dude? Tsubaki and Urabe become boyfriend and girlfriend in the first episode. Yeah! Can you believe it? Which I... is <laughs> shocking. That never happens. I can't... Usually... I, I know it's a thing, but I cannot, for the life of me, think of a single anime off the top of my head where that happens. I can think of a few, but that's because this type of anime, where they get together almost immediately is my favorite kind of romance anime. Like, there's a few where it's like a comedy and they have to get together in the first episode, but they don't really like each other, and the whole series is based off of them hating each other, but this one, they have genuine feelings for each other and start a it's... relationship in the first episode. And it's all about them learning their boundaries and stuff. That is where the wholesome factor of this show comes in. We don't even see them kiss till... Fuck, I don't think we ever see them kiss. I... <sighs> I would have preferred it if they kissed. Like, I'm... I kissed once. I kissed a person on the lips once in my life. And it was super gross, and uncomfortable, and I just don't like kissing. I'm a weird guy. But... That's fine, dude. Compared to the shit that they do in this show, I would have preferred they kissed. Because instead of kissing, they do stuff like... Stick their fingers in their mouths, and like... 
swap exchange spit. The exchange jewel. spit. What the hell? Or, yeah, they exchange jewel. And there's mind reading powers based off of it. If, if one of them is injured, like has a scraped knee, and they swap spit with the other, the other one gets a scraped knee. Or when one of them's feeling super sad or super happy or like horny or something, they'll swap spit and the other one will feel the same way. Yes, they can read their dreams with spit. They have a bond in spit. Like, they're it's, connected on, like, a spiritual level through their drool. It's horrifying. And but while, while it's an interesting mechanic, why did it have to be spit? What else would you have it be? I probably couldn't think of anything better. Actually, I could have, but I'm too grossed out to think right now. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you watch this. Are you sure, though? No, your reaction's been top tier here, man. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh we but can't no. only watch good shows. Yeah. I mean, I we love could. Though, but if you don't like Spit, you'll hate this show. Well, if you're not neutral on Spit and think it's gross, you'll hate this. I'm sure there are people out there that love the show because of the spit. I like the show for non-spit related reasons. I'm sure there are people out there that are really into the spit. Particularly. <laughs> I'm not judging you, buddy. But it's not for me. That's fine. But, like, you know what else I loved about, like, Tsubaki and Thurabe? What's that? Just, like, I just love how much Tsubaki listens to Urobe. That, right and there, communicates with them. Is another one of the big reasons I love this romance anime over others. It's because the main characters actually fucking talk about their feelings. <coughs> Kids on the slope. It's funny that I recommend both of those, right? Oh, yeah. But the anime is also like a friggin' fever dream at some point, you know? Yeah. At one point, the uh, the lighting made me think of Perfect Blue. There's this one scene that comes to my mind when I think how freaking bizarre the show is. And it's in one of the later episodes. A girl the main character liked in middle school shows up, and she's terrible. She's absolutely the worst. She's a homewrecker. Relationship ruiner, but I digress. And she... many other horrible words that you listed in the notes that we won't say on here. Yes, I'm sorry I said those things. I'm not. not. Really. <laughs> Every one of those things. But so she is like, I've got an abusive boyfriend. I broke up with him. He hit me. Tsubaki, will you go to the festival, my school's festival with me? And being the gullible, lovable idiot that he is, he's like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. I won't tell Urube what I'm doing to cause uh, dramatic tension in the story. And yeah. I'll lie to her about what I'm doing that day. And so, she corners him in a classroom. Our other girl, Oka, who I'd rather Urobe get with, sort of. Lesbians! Someday. But they're so nice to each other. But they're both seeing someone. Which is weird that they swap Urobe's spit. Moving on. <laughs> but, so, the girl corners him in a room alone. Hayakawa. And yeah, Hayakawa corners him in a room alone and is like, do you like me? And he's just like, hey, uh, I have a girlfriend and stuff. She tries to frickin' tempt this man and try to get him to kiss her or swap spit. When Urabe shows up dressed as a robot, cardboard robot, 
She then proceeds to cut her way out with a pair of scissors that she keeps tucked in her panties. Yes. When she comes out, they put a blindfold on Tsubaki and like, look, we're going to settle this one way. He'll taste both of our spit and whichever one he likes more takes them. And then for some reason they have to be naked and they argue while naked. And I couldn't believe that was even happening. Because I, I guess when they're naked, they're feeling more emotions and that enhances the flavor of the spit or for some fucking reason. Some degenerate ass <clears throat> reason. So main character is standing blindfolded in a classroom with two naked girls arguing. Trying to feed him their spit. This is a fucking show that I watched. Why did I watch this show? <laughs> Why did you make me watch this show? I don't know. Because you, it's... You gave me the option to stop and I didn't. I did. But, but their romance was so sweet. It was. It is. It's so good. It's just really... <laughs> This really? would be a 10 out of 10 for me if it wasn't for the spit. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. Nope. But Can't. that's because I like this relationship dynamic between uh, Tsubaki and Urube. But yeah, let's discuss something else, like how freaking gorgeous the animation is. You know? <sighs> Speaking of animation, let's talk more about liquids. Oh god. What? So there's another thing that happened in episode one, besides the spit swapping. And we're not talking about kissing, by the way. We're talking like, stick finger in mouth, on the around, and shove that in the other person's mouth. Yep. Just to be clear. So, when Tsubaki asks Urube to be his girlfriend, he takes a picture of Hayakawa out of his wallet and rips it up in front of her to demonstrate his love for her, and only her. And she's so happy that she vomits spit. Yeah. She it's... doesn't... It's not like stomach acid or bile or any... It's it's just spit. What? Lots of lots of spit. <clears throat> Can we discuss this for a second? What? Like, how... How, how, how is that possible? It isn't. D does she just... When she's happy, do all of her saliva-making glands just go into overproduction, or does she have, like, a second stomach that's just for spit? Like, what are the mechanics behind this? How does this work? Don't question this. I'm questioning it, goddammit. I, I'm the... not gonna let this go. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer you. But at least... Urabe, at least the anime was unique, you know? You know what else was unique? Urabe's voice actor. Yeah. You agree? I really enjoyed her performance. Usually not a thing we touch on, but it's actually worth mentioning here. We watched the subs. Yes. But the voice actor for Urabe, in the Japanese version, Ayako... Yoshitani, it is her only voice acting performance. Really? Yeah. Mysterious Girlfriend X is the only show she's ever voice acted for? Yes. Huh. She also performed the opening and the ending theme song for the show. Yeah. She. She's in a couple movies I kind of want to watch. Hmm. The opening theme is called Orchestra of Love... And the ending theme is called After School Promise. They're both adorable. And without spit. I have the, the opening stuck in my head, and I can't remember the ending for the life of me. At least the OP's wonderful, right? It is. It's one of my top OP's, dude. Which is weird to say. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing a video about those in the future. Yes. Yes, we are. And this is going to be on my list. Cool. Other than that, it's fairly ordinary, but it's a unique premise and unique romance, right? Wholesome high school anime where... People actually talk to each other like adults? Yeah. I... I was so worried that this was going to go 
terribly. <laughs> there were <laughs> there were signs where this could have gone horribly wrong. In episode ten, we almost quit. We almost stopped watching it and picked something else. Not because of the spit. Not, not because of anything we didn't like visually. But because we thought Tsubaki was going to cheat on Urube. Yes. We we, and... we had to stop. We had to stop watching for a good ten minutes to talk about this. Yeah. Whether we... or not we wanted to continue. What we watch instead that we'd reasonably be able to get out. We were and... so mad. <laughs> I was picking a damn movie. <laughs> but no, it went well. Yeah. No one got cheated on. Everything was nice. The characters are su surprisingly interesting. Except for literally everyone except Tsubaki is interesting. <laughs> well, everyone but Tsubaki is interesting. Agreed? Yeah. But in a good way. I guess he doesn't have any super negative traits. Yeah, he's just... Ex except maybe his spit fetish. And but... being the big dumb. Oh, he is very dumb. But his dorky smile and consistent blushing is adorable. It is. And Urube is, like, surprisingly cute. For someone who keeps their eyes covered all day. Yeah. And doesn't do much of anything. She is, like, the calmest anime girl. Ever. Mm-hmm. Like, ever. Seriously. Confession, Tsubaki reminds me of my boyfriend. <laughs> Is your boyfriend also a big dumb? A little. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Aww. But in a wholesome, kinda cute way. But moving on, Tsubaki's just wonderful. <laughs> Tsubaki's sincere, forward, right? Yeah. And Urube is calm and level-headed most of the time. Unless you do something she doesn't like. Yeah, like when Hayakawa plotted to end their relationship, Urube figured out what was going on and didn't judge Tsubaki too harshly. Yeah. Which never happens in anime, and was a great surprise to me. She was like, look, I see what happened. That sucks. Be less easily fooled, right? Yeah. I guess before we end, we should talk a little about uh, Oka and Ueno. Oh, yeah. Ueno. Oka. Oka is second best girl. Still very irritating, though. And we all know where Hayakawa belongs. In the garbage? Yes. Yeah, let's talk about best girl, second best girl, Oka. She's a troublemaker. She is. She's Ueno's girlfriend, and it kind of seems like she has a girl crush on Urube. Yeah. But she really, at, towards the middle, like, later on, she just was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll help Tsubaki with her feelings. And it's actually kind of nice. Yeah. Despite her occasional shit-stirring. Thought she was great at the beginning. Then when she started to meddle, I hated her. And at the end, well, she, she, she's she, alright. I still don't like her too much, but, but there's not, like <laughs> she's not terrible. No, she is tolerable. Yeah, you know who's largely intolerable? Ueno and largely Hayakawa. I didn't like Ueno. He felt too doofy and perverted. You're generic. High school pervert. Yes. Do people really act like that in high school? I don't know. Because I haven't run across any. Mm. Is it a Japanese thing, or is it just a trope for laughs? Probably just a trope for laughs. Hmm. So, general feelings, uh, what do you think? I'd recommend it, unless you hate spit. Like I do. Yes. Sorry then about that. Just a bit of a germaphobe. No problem. I'm a degenerate. Yes, you are. 
I am a big freaking degenerate who is actually surprisingly wholesome. Right? <laughs> yeah. I said a lot of whack shit during the show, which I don't want to see the light of day. <laughs> Good thing we don't record our watch through. Yeah. Although that is an idea for streaming sometime. That'd be fun. It would. I enjoyed this anime quite a bit. It made me feel a little bit weird, but it's very wholesome, cute, and I'm sorry I made you watch this. This anime makes me feel good except when it doesn't. Then it makes you feel like you need a hot shower? Yes. I need to, like... Douse yourself in fire? Bo boiling water. Mm. But for the most part, it was fun. And I'm sure you really enjoyed the reactions you got out of me. I did enjoy the reactions I got out of you, but I also genuinely enjoyed the anime, which is weird to say. I'm not sure if you genuinely enjoyed it. I did, except for certain parts, yes. It's very good. I recommend nice. watching this if you, like, don't care about being grossed out. Yeah. It's less focused on the spit later on in the show, but if you can't get past there, the first few episodes, it's not you, you're just not gonna watch it. Yeah, there's a lot of spit in those episodes. This show is 13 episodes long, has one OVA that we didn't happen to watch for this review. But I watched it. Oh, you did. A little while ago. Huh. It's, it's them at a school festival. Cool. Just thought I'd tell you that. It's written and illustrated by Richi Ueshiba. Forgive me, I don't speak Japanese. And the manga has 12 volumes. Fenris, where can we watch it? Country Roll or High Dive if you want to watch it up. Sweet. Well, we've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well in the comments below and on our Discord. The night parade has now come to an end. Next week, Watamote. Bye. Bye. I may regret this.